Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Timothy Chalamet. Basically acknowledging that he is not with Kylie Jenner anymore. And that is because he's a old soul, one who has a fathom need for privacy. Let's talk about it. Like how Kylie can be losing this much after that September 4th parade at Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour on Beyonce's birthday. This man is now declining you, Kylie. It's not good, girl. You're too young. You've done too much to your body to be getting declined like a bad credit card, honey. Mm -mm. Definitely not a good look, right? But not because she's young and pretty doesn't mean that everyone is going to want her. And in this case, I can definitely understand what Timothy Chalamet is saying because not everyone wants that public type of lifestyle. Not only that, I believe that Timothy Chalamet's family really are not into Kylie and her family like that because before Timothy and Kylie went public on September 4th, there were always discussions about how Timothy's um, sister would trash rich, snobby celebrities like Kylie and her family. And I believe that based on this interview that Timothy Chalamet did with GQ magazine, we can see that he somewhat shares the same qualities as his sister, right? So, when he's asked about his relationship, Timothy's first response was, I can't say that this stuff doesn't matter because my intense fathom has led me to where I am. So basically, he's calling himself an old soul with a crave for privacy right? But then the GQ writer Daniel Riley made specific reference to Kylie Jenner, noting if Chalamet really wanted to be left alone, he may not spend time with one of the four most followed people on Instagram. And he acknowledged the sentiment with a laugh, right? He further then went on to say, this reminds me of that recent South Park episode with a worldwide privacy tour, said Chalamet, referen referencing the show's Feb February who, parody of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, saying sometimes people are going to be hella confused when you say you're trying to live a private life. No. Honey, people are not hella confused when you say you want to live a private life, right? People are confused as to how the Kardashians keep putting all of their business out in public. And when someone comes into that circle who says they want a private life with Mama Kris Jenner, it really may not work. Because if you all remember, Ye did not want to be on the family reality TV series, but he was then pressured by Kim to do so. And after he did it, he said he didn't like the fact that he had to do it, you know, to make him happy. And he had no control about over how his, you know, image was displayed. So it's not as though we're hella confused or anything like that. Now, I also know that some people may say, but he's saying that he wants to have privacy. It didn't mean that he's not with Kylie. Hello? Did he have to say it out loud? No, he doesn't need to say it out loud. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to see him and Kylie again. Because like Elle, as I've said to you guys, do you guys remember when I said this guy is not into Kylie 
as Kylie is making it seems as though he's that deep into her and it is Kylie who's deep into him. You'll go back and check that video that I did. I think it was on September 5th, right? Because the Renaissance concert was the fourth. So I did a video reacting to that and I read his body language and I can confirm that I read it darn well because here he is saying everything that I've said. I said he's private. It's not going to work for him because he wants to keep away from the, you know, public attention because that has always been his kind of thing. And Kylie is just too much out there. But I said that Kylie's going to go above and beyond to invest in this guy to ensure that the relationship works because she she's like hell determined not to be portrayed a loser again in the public's eye. And here it is today playing out for us to see. Go back and check that video and you guys can confirm that I was right. I did call it. But guys, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts about what Timothy Chalamet has said? And do you think that they're actually over and Kylie's going to fight her way back? I want to hear from you all. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and talk to you all later. Bye, guys.